everyone! Welcome to the caves! We're going to begin very shortly and uh, we're going to have a little wander about and show you a little bit of the venue but in the meantime if you make sure you're sitting nice and comfy and grab a little refreshment. Okay, follow me! Here we've got an interesting piece about the myth of cave. Mm. You'll be hearing Corin's lovely piano playing. Now, if you follow me right through, I'm going to show you where they tend to do an awful lot of because they do lots of weddings and Kaylee's here. Uh, and there's a lovely gig space just right down the back through this little spooky tunnel, a bit like a vault. Um, if you can see over here, there's this beautiful space, which you can imagine lots of dancing taking place. I'm Corin and I'm Alyssa and this week our week Kaylee, as Alyssa's been telling you, mm. is taking place in the ultra haunted and ultra mega scary underground city. Well actually we're playing in a well-known venue called The Caves which are part of the vaults that lie beneath the old tomb. Alyssa, what were the vaults actually used for? Well Corin, merchants sold goods in them, food and the like but it kept flooding and destroying the stock so they couldn't be used. And that's when the homeless moved in. And they're ultra haunted and ultra mega scary because many of the poor folk died of the plague down there. You can I hear their ghostly wails in the darkness and the silence. Oh, you put the pair guests off, and me too. Should sure have. <laughs> As you can be last time, a Kaylee is more than a dance. People would take a turn telling stories and poems and singing songs. A bit like doing a party piece. Let's do the Kaylee song from last time. Oh, aye. And if you mind the gay gardens, then get on up and join in. Oh. Do any bump into your furniture, mm. mind? Health and safety. Health and safety. <laughs> Just come down to the Isle of Skye I know very big and I'm awfully shy The lassies shout when I go by Donald, where's your trousers? Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low Through the streets in my kilt I'll go All the lassies say hello Donald, where's your trousers? To wear the kilt is my delect It is near and I can it's wrecked The Heelanders, they get a frick I'll go. All the lassies say hello. Donald, where's your tree? Join in now. Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low. Through the streets in my kilt I'll go. All the lassies say hello. Donald, where's your trousers? Donald, where's your trousers? <laughs> now, last time, we were talking about the rich moving from Riddle's Court to the new town. And overcrowding became a big problem in the old tomb. Mm. So the poor were forced to move underground. 
Hundreds of homeless families lived in there and it quickly turned into a den of iniquity. Here, what's a den of iniquity when it's at him? It's a place where all the bad folk go. Oh, you mean like smugglers mm. hiding their ill-gotten wares, thieves and body snatchers. Exactly. The underground city got even more crowded when there was a potato famine in Ireland. Oh, tatty blech to us, Alyssa. And what a blight it was, Corin. The poor, starving Irish poured over to Scotland and here in Edinburgh. And that's when even more folk were forced to move into the vaults and closes underground. Here, can Mary King's close? Oh, that's the underground street, no far from St Giles. That's right. Mm. Well, there's a pale, lonely wee ghost haunts that street. She's Kent as abandoned Annie. It said she was a poor wee Irish lassie who lost her parents to the plague no long after they moved here. To this day, loads of folk say they've felt Annie's wee hand reach out and touch them when they've been doing their Take me with you, Miss I pray. I'm all along here, night and day. It's cold and dark and fit and sad. Take me, help me, I'm good Nowadays, tourists leave money, dolls and clothes for Annie and every few months they're collected and taken to the sick children's hospital. Ah, uh, that wee Irish lassies we love to this very day, so she is. Aye. Oh, ken that Irish song we always fight over? Which in? We fecht our money a sang. Wild Mountain Time. That is isn't Irish. It is. It is near, it was written by a Scot. Whatever. It was by Robert Tannehill, the weaver poet. But the Irish adapted it, so it's Irish. A Scot wrote it, so it's Scottish. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> What's the poem called? The Braes of Balquither. It's about losing your love and yearning for him. The Irish and Scots who ended up in the underground city were often a long way from home. Oh, here, Alyssa, here's a verse of the poem. You see it so beautifully. And it is a Kayleigh after all. Let us go, lassie, go to the braes of Balquither, where the blaeberries grow, man the bonny blooming heather, where the ray and the deer, likely bounding together, sport the lang summer's day, on the breeze of Balquither. Oh, you see that so bonnily, so good. Eh? But you can't write about the Scots. It's Irish. By a Scot! I'm just sing it, would you? Well, the summer time is coming, and the leaves are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain time. All around the blooming heather Will ye go, lassie, go And we'll all go together To a wild mountain time All around the blooming heather Will ye go, lassie, go If my true love I will surely find no other to power a mountain dying all around the blooming heather. Will ye go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together to power a wild mountain dying all around the blooming heather. Will ye go, lassie?
Lassie, one more time. Everyone join in and we'll all go together. Teppo Wild Mountain Time. All around the blooming heather will ye go, Lassie, go. That's a bro song, that is. Oh, it's you know my <laughs> favourites, that is. Oh, I reckon it's time for a story, Corin, don't you? Oh, aye. And Stephen can take us over to our wee aye. story nook. Follow us. This nook. is my favourite bat of the cave stories. Feels a little bit like we're going into a vault. It is, because we are. Well, we are, yes. Yeah, see, we are you can see the vaulty bit above us. And then down there, money a wedding's been had down there. And there's even made of the vault down there. I think you saw that when you came in. We did, we did. Real Alyssa. Always oh, me wheel. Doon in the underground city. Oh, really, Corin? What was going on in the underground city? Wheel Alyssa. There were money thieves and body snatchers worked doon there. Thieves and body snatchers, Corin. Aye, Alyssa. And the maist wheel kent o' them wear. Burk and hair. Burk and hair. Aye, Alyssa. The, the body, body snatchers. In those days, there was a need for bodies for the student doctors to learn their craft. The most famous surgeon teacher was Dr. Knox. Dr. Knox was I in need of fresh bodies to show his students what organ was for and who to chop it up. You mean dissect, Corin? And there's no need to go into so much detail. Dissect, chop, same thing. And it's the detail, Max, the story. So, Dr. Knox paid Birkin here to bring him bodies to dissect. And the fresher the body, the mere money they got paid. Oh, that's true. So they started off in graveyards. Oh, like the one at Greyfriars Kirk, where we'll be next mm -hmm. time. And they'd go watching in the day for who was being buried. And they'd, that very night, they'd sneak back into the graveyard to dig up the poor, unsuspecting corpse. Birkin here got greedy. They wanted mere money. Aye, so they stopped digging up the bodies. Eh, Alyssa? Aye, Corin. That's when they started going down to the underground city. They were hunting for a pear mug to tuck for a dram or two of the herd stuff. And when they were wheel and truly wellied, they'd strangle them to death. Ah! Dr. Knox knew what they were up to and paid them well for their evil deeds. Oh, he can what they were up to, so he did. Even though Knox said otherwise. Here, Alyssa. I've written a wee ditty about the evil duo. Oh, have you, Corin? Shall we go back to the piano and you can show me? Aye. Come on then, follow us back, Stephen. Now, Corinne, what's your ditty of a song called? My wee ditty of a song is cried, Birkin Hair. Ah. Well, of course, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, Alyssa, hmm. it's your turn to start. Tuck it away, William Hair. He's William Burke, he's here. We're best of mates, what's mere? We young what live and digging up deet. And Dr. Knox pays us for his meat. To dissect bodies for students to see. The fresh of the corpse, the mere money for me. No me, no me, no me, no me. The fresh of the corpse, the mere money for me. Up in Greyfriars Kirk, digging up bodies free the dirt. Doctor Knox shook his head and sighed. The rotten stink he raised and he cried. Their organs are mush, they will need do. They hold with the cards a 
less money for you. No you, no you, no you, no you. The older the crop, the less money for you. Buck came up with an evil plan. He listened real and shook his hand. They'd murder the poor and the undergroon. Sell knocks of fresh bodies for money a poon. They strangled, they smothered, nay more could you see? The fresher the corpse, the mere money for me. No me, no me, no me, no me. The fresher the corpse, the mere money for me. No me, no me, no me, no me. The fresher the corpse, the mere money for me. They eventually got caught and charged. Unbelievably, Hare turned King's evidence and got off scot free. Well, it's a bit King's evidence when it's at him. Oh, it means. William Hare snitched on William Burke to the judge and got away with it. Well, William Burke, William Hare, sorry, he was chased to the old Ricky and never seen or heard from again. Burke was hung at the lawn market. They say our 20,000 folk turned up to see us hanging. And that was the end of the body snatchers. Here, Alyssa. Did you ken that William Burke's skin was turned into a book? No way, Corin. Ah, honestly, I've seen it behind a glass case at Surgeon's Hall. Oh, that's minging. If you think that's minging, wait till you hear the tale of oh, half hang it, Maggie. Was she no the lassie that was sentenced to hanging after killing her newborn bairn? Aye, well, she was caught burying it. Nobody thinks she, she actually killed her child. She was hung in the grass market, wasn't she? Aye. But on the way to being buried, knocks and cries could be heard from her coffin. Let me out, let me out. Have I been hung? I'm still alive. alive and kicking. She opened her own hostelry down in the grass market and it's cried Maggie Dixon's and you can gang there till this day. Folk came from far and wide to see half hang at Maggie. Because she was weel kent that her face and he'd I walloped to the inside where her neck was broken in the drop. Poor <sighs> half hang at Maggie. Aye, they say she never had another bairn. Here, did you ken in those days? Folk used to believe that their bairns could be stolen by fairies. Mad, isn't it? There's a lullaby about it. Strange story to hear is a lullaby. <laughs> Aye. It's about a bairn getting stolen by fairies while her maw was berry picking. Do you ken the one I'm talking about? I do, Melissa. It's a uh, Highland fairy lullaby. That's the one. I left my baby lying here, lying here, lying here. I left my baby lying here to go and gather blaberries. Hoven, hoven, go to a go, go to Go, go de a go, hoven, hoven, go de a go. I never found my baby, oh. I saw the swan upon the lake, upon the lake, upon the lake. I saw the swan. Baby, oh, 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 oh,
in the underground city to keep them warm. Well, they couldn't light a fire down there. It <sighs> would fill with smoke. They'd have been dancing and hooking all the time through winter. Oh, speaking of dancing, this week we're going to learn the Canadian barn dance. Canadian barn dance, Alyssa? Aye, the Canadian barn dance. But there were no Canadians in Old Reiki back then. Oh, it's a well-known Keeley dance now, Corin. Here. Next time you see a band and Danny, you can ask her. Oh, <laughs> come on and help me. Oh, do you have to? Absolutely, I. Oh. Now, if you've got a partner, then get on up and stand with them, holding their hands like so. Lovely. Now, we're going to walk forward with our outside foot. So that's that one for you. For three. Ready? We walk forward. One, two, three, and hop. Lovely. Now we're going to do the same back. Back. Two, three, and hop. Lovely. Now we're going to walk out to the side, away from your partner, for two. Go. One, two, and clap. Then into your partner, and hold their hands. Lovely. Then sway for two. Ready? One, two, and back, for two. Then step and hop in a circle for four. Go. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. That was lovely. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. fun. <laughs> Now, normally at a Kaylee, we would stand it with our partner in a big circle going in a clockwise direction. But any fear if you have no partner at the moment, because you can still have a great maze up on your own. So follow me as we go. And Corin, can we have some music please? Oh, pretty soon, is it? Oh, let's go for Charlie is my darling. Canadian schmedian. Here, I don't care about yous, but 
I'm getting the creeps down here. What we the grave robbers and half hang it folk. I think we better get out of here. Oh, I hope you've all been as fear as she has. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all ken her final song. Aye, it's the yin we all sing at New Year, and that's all over the planet, mm. no just in Old Ricky in Scotland. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot for old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old. a hand my trusty fear and here's a hand of thine we'll tack a next good willy what for old lang syne for old lang syne my dear for old lang syne we'll tack a cup of kindness yet for old lang syne well it's been lovely seeing you I've been Corin and I've been Alyssa and we've been Kaylee Crew and Co. Please leave us a wee review on our Facebook page, our website, Instagram or Twitter. And we'll see you in two weeks for our next Kaylee on the 26th of May at Greyfriars Kirk. And you can watch us from 7pm that very night. We can't wait to see you there. Bye everyone. Have a lovely couple of weeks. Okay.